you might think, well, you showed us two extremes. Either you bring all the data or none of the data. Why not go in between and do data subsetting? That is actually a very good question. And it does sound very appealing at first, but from our experience, data subsetting is really hard. You can use uh, the enterprise managers features in uh, data masking and subsetting, but still with those tools, it is really hard to get uh, in place. Because which data should you remove? Should you just remove some of the oldest data or should you do it random? What makes sense in terms of your testing? What about referential integrity? Well, if you remove a row in a parent table, you could do a cascading delete to all the child tables. It's not very fast, but what about those, I would call them logical integrity, something that makes sense to the application itself, but cannot be enforced with referential integrity. It might be that for some customers, you have to have some sort of static data in another table. How can you ensure that your subsetting will work on the complete full application picture? We think it's hard. But subsetting can still be an option because there might be some part of your application that you don't need. It could be, for instance, auditing or historical data, logging, or some sort of temporary data that is only needed for calculations. If you can exclude some of the table area, some of the table groups in your database, you can do that with Data Pump by using the exclude option and then specifying all the tables that you don't want. The problem with that approach is that when you then do the import, for instance, in this example, the costs table will be completely missing. If you try to connect an application to that database, it'll probably error out and say, whoa, I cannot continue here, a table is missing. A better approach is to exclude the table first and then do another data pump run where you include only the tables that you excluded in the first run, but then again, you use the content equals metadata only to then export those tables that you want as empty tables. So it's a two-state operation. First, you include all the tables where you also want the rows. And in the second run, you take only the tables that you want created as empty tables. If you are using RMAN to restore or duplicate the database, you can also do subsetting in some scenarios. If the subsetting data is totally isolated in one table space, you can skip it when you do the restore or the duplicate. Those table spaces will be marked as offline table spaces and you will get an error if you try to query a table that was in a table space that was skipped. So you shouldn't consider those tables as empty tables in your target database and you might need to clean up in the data dictionary afterwards.